In computer programming, cohesion refers to the degree to which the elements inside a module belong together. In one sense, it is a measure of the strength of relationship between the methods and data of a class and some unifying purpose or concept served by that class. In another sense, it is a measure of the strength of relationship between the class's methods and data themselves. Cohesion is an ordinal type of measurement and is usually described as high cohesion or low cohesion. Modules with high cohesion tend to be preferable, because high cohesion is associated with several desirable traits of software including robustness, reliability, reusability, and understandability. In contrast, low cohesion is associated with undesirable traits such as being difficult to maintain, test, reuse, or even understand. Cohesion is often contrasted with coupling, a different concept. High cohesion often correlates with loose coupling, and vice versa. The software metrics of coupling and cohesion were invented by Larry Constantine in the late 1960s as part of structured design, based on characteristics of good programming practices that reduced maintenance and modification costs. Structured design, cohesion and coupling were published in the article Stevens, Myers and Constantine and the book Jordan and Constantine the latter two subsequently became standard terms in software engineering. <laughs> High cohesion In object-oriented programming, if the methods that serve a class tend to be similar in many aspects, then the class is said to have high cohesion. In a highly cohesive system, code readability and reusability is increased, while complexity is kept manageable. Cohesion is increased if the functionalities embedded in a class, accessed through its methods, have much in common. Methods carry out a small number of related activities, by avoiding coarsely grained or unrelated sets of data. Advantages of high cohesion or strong cohesion are reduced module complexity, they are simpler, having fewer operations. Increased system maintainability, because logical changes in the domain affect fewer modules, and because changes in one module require fewer changes in other modules. Increased module reusability, because application developers will find the component they need more easily among the cohesive set of operations provided by the module, while in principle a module can have perfect cohesion by only consisting of a single, atomic element, having a single function, for example, in practice complex tasks are not expressible by a single, simple element. Thus a single element module has an element that either is too complicated, in order to accomplish a task, or is too narrow, and thus tightly coupled to other modules. Thus cohesion is balanced with both unit complexity and coupling. <laughs> Types of cohesion Cohesion is a qualitative measure, meaning that the source code to be measured is examined using a rubric to determine a classification. Cohesion types, from the worst to the best, are as follows. Coincidental cohesion worst. Coincidental cohesion is when parts of a module are grouped arbitrarily, the only relationship between the parts is that they have been grouped together e.g. a utilities class. Example Logical cohesion Logical cohesion is when parts of a module are grouped because they are logically categorized to do the same thing even though they are different by nature e.g. grouping all mouse and keyboard input handling routines. Temporal cohesion Temporal cohesion is when parts of a module are grouped by when they are processed. The parts are processed at a particular time in program execution, e.g., a function which is called after catching an exception which closes open files, creates an error log, and notifies the user. Procedural cohesion Procedural cohesion is when parts of a module are grouped because they always follow a certain sequence of execution e.g. a function which checks file permissions and then opens the file. Communicational, informational cohesion Communicational cohesion is when parts of a module are grouped because they operate on the same data e.g. a module which operates on the same record of information. Sequential cohesion 
Sequential cohesion is when parts of a module are grouped because the output from one part is the input to another part like an assembly line e.g. a function which reads data from a file and processes the data. Functional cohesion best. Functional cohesion is when parts of a module are grouped because they all contribute to a single well-defined task of the module e.g. lexical analysis of an XML string. Example Perfect cohesion atomic Example Although cohesion is a ranking type of scale, the ranks do not indicate a steady progression of improved cohesion. Studies by various people including Larry Constantine, Edward Jordan, and Steve McConnell indicate that the first two types of cohesion are inferior, communicational and sequential cohesion are very good, and functional cohesion is superior. While functional cohesion is considered the most desirable type of cohesion for a software module, it may not be achievable. There are cases where communicational cohesion is the highest level of cohesion that can be attained under the circumstances. Topic. See also. Coupling, computer science. List of object-oriented programming terms. Static code analysis. Equals equals citations. <laughs>